It is time now for Better Money with Joel Johnson. Today he's offering four tips to prepare for retirement. Joel is a certified financial planner and managing partner at Johnson Brunetti. Thanks so much for being with us, Joel. It's great to be here, Kara. So uh, as we start preparing for retirement, um, people start to you know freak out a little bit. They always yeah. think they don't have enough or they don't have the right information. So we've got four simple tips to at least get people on the right track. Right, a lot of times, again, this becomes overwhelming. We've talked about that a lot here on the program. And so these four simple tips will maybe solve all the problems, but at least get you going in the right direction. Number one, start early. Now, if you didn't start early, don't worry, there's a fix for that too. But the best thing you can do is just start right when you start working, right? Right, start right when you start working. If you can get involved in a 401k, save money right away, put at least enough in for the match. But again, if early for you is right now and somebody's 40 years old, then start now. Just start now if you haven't started already. The earlier, the better. It's time in the market, not timing the market. So the t amount of time you can put yourself in investments and let them grow, better off you're going right, to be. Right, because that, all that compound interest just builds. And if you can forget about it, it's going to grow while you're hanging on the couch, right? Ex exactly. All right. Yeah. So spend less than you earn. And this one is a hard one for people. People always think they're not making enough. H how do you do that? <laughs> it, it, it's really hard. And one of, the, one of the ways is try to create a budget. Be real careful of the credit cards. Um, make sure you're saving money first right off the top. And then don't borrow money. You know, one of the biggest mistakes we see people make is they buy a brand new car every two or three years. Mm -hmm. For a long time, Wendy and I bought two and three year old cars. So we're not taking that big depreciation hit right off the bat. The biggest places people waste money throughout their lives is credit card debt and purchases of cars. Okay. So if you can just eliminate those what two things. What about leasing? A lot of people you know, like to lease. Leasing still. I mean, if you can afford it, that's great. But a lot of people lease and then they get in trouble with the miles and they have to write a check at the end or buy the car for more than it's really worth. So just be really careful on the car situation. All right. So you want to try and have some years where you don't have those car yeah. payments. Uh, then you want to create an income strategy. What does that mean? So the closer somebody gets to retirement care, the, the more they need to think about taking income out, not just saving money, protecting principal and and then where am I going to take my income from? Am I going to drain my 401k first and maybe leave a brokerage account alone? Am I getting enough social security and pension where I can leave those retirement accounts alone? There needs to be a strategy for taking income, not just walking into retirement and saying, oh, I'm going to take money as I need it out of different accounts. They should be spending accounts in a certain order depending on their particular situation. And you want to acknowledge inflation. And this is the big one. We're all living longer. We've got to keep up with the cost of living. For somebody that retires today, they probably need to double or triple their income throughout retirement. That's what inflation is. We've got to make sure we've covered that. So you have an offer, and it's free to everyone who's watching. It's the top 10 things to consider when preparing for retirement, and everyone can get this for free. All you have to do is go to bettermoneytv.com, and you'll make sure everyone gets a copy. Yeah, it's a great resources. We have all kinds of practical tips and additional links so that people can get additional resources. All righty. Thank you so much, Joel. Thanks, Kara. That's Better Money.